Hey everyone, it's Michelle here and I am bringing in this new year with a pretty tough, emotional topic, topical steroid use and my thoughts on it and the experiences I have with it. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure you stick around in today's video. If you are new to my story, I'll make sure I link up all the blog posts I have done covering my eczema journey. I did some videos here on this current YouTube channel and Lloyd and I had an older one when we were vlogging more of our, our lives and our health journey. Uh, Lori shared her journey of recovering from acne, mine was eczema, and then Lori, after her pregnancies, had a diastasis recti, so she shared her journey of that, So, and we had a lot of gut issues we shared along the journeys. If you're new to our store, that's how Lori and I began our journey online, was just sharing our journeys of this in case it would help anyone else. I'll link up all that below as I wanted this video to really just be focusing on the, my thoughts on steroids and a uh, year towards topical steroid and around the withdrawal symptoms around that. I will flash up pictures too, a little bit of what my skin looked like, why I'm doing this video. I had a mother message me on Instagram. Her son is facing tropical steroid withdrawal, also known as TSW. I've heard about along my journey and I'll get into more of that here. But she, anyway, she messaged me. We've been chatting back and forth and I'm doing my best to try to help her and She's been sharing things with me and vice versa, and I've been praying for her son. And a little note, uh, I checked in with her last night, and her son is doing better. He's on the way to be healing, so she was just praising God and thankful that he led her to me, and I'm grateful as well. And so I just wanted to let you, all of you guys know, I know I've mentioned it in past videos, that I've been praying for you guys and want you to know that I still am. Whether you've messaged me on Instagram or commented on one of my eczema videos or even emailed me, and even if you um, haven't, I've been still, I just pray for eczema sufferers everywhere. And I know God knows who everyone is. And again, whether you believe in God or not, I've been praying for you. I just wanted to share that, that if you want me to continue, if you're new to me and you want me to pray over you, uh, do make sure you message me or leave a comment down below. I would be happy to add you to my prayers. So my true journey to healing happened back in 2015. I found some new doctors and some new treatments and they helped me get to healing. So I praise God every day that I was led to those doctors. And But I would say I was fully, fully healed because I dealt, still dealt with some flare-ups and stuff that year. I was fully, fully healed 2016 and every year I've just been able to say eczema free. I will say that every once in a while, like in these colder months here I'm now experiencing, I do get very small, very small patches, like one or two on my legs. I would say overall I've still been living eczema free. The reason why I wanted to talk about steroids, um, even though, as I mentioned in previous videos, I never used them except for one time, which I'll get into that story more here. But it, I had people message me all throughout my journey when I was sharing pictures of what my skin looked like and so many people thought that I was suffering from DSW. And I was like, no, no, I, I, I never really get heavily into steroids. I've always been kind of weary of them. And so I wanted to share more of my thoughts on this because this mom brought attention to me, a documentary that was done. I have my notes here, make sure I say it right. Um, skin on Fire was a documentary done on tropical steroid withdrawal and you know she just was reminded me of that you know to bring awareness to this topic and I watched it and then I watched a few other videos of people talking about it and I can link all that I watched down below and I thought my <laughs> eczema was severe and it was it was you know I talked about before felt like my skin was burning and then someone at the same time was taking a fork and knife and just scraping my skin at the same time I bled a lot, I couldn't sleep, I had suicidal thoughts, and so hearing these people who are suffering from the steroid withdrawal, it was just my heart went out for them. A lot of them have healed on the other side, some look like they're still in the process of healing, like this lady's son. But it broke my heart because I do believe there's people who don't believe it's a real thing. They uh, in, the, in the documentary they had uh, doctors sharing different things, and I do say that the medical field has come a long way in some of this stuff, but from my own experience, it's all at least four, maybe even five dermatologists over the years, starting all the way back in 2011. So I think when I saw my first dermatologist who diagnosed me with eczema, but 
it didn't get worse till a couple years later. Again, I'll share it all my journey in the past. The first one, the reason I, the story I want to get into was they, the very first doctor that gave it to me, so it's just when my ex was mostly on my legs, gave me a topical steroid cream. And I was kind of hesitant at first because from a very young age, I've had digestive issues and I've always been more aware of health and natural ways. And so I was always a little hesitant of it. But I do know there's been benefits of steroids and there's a reason to take them for inflammation. And, and so I'm not a doctor getting into all that here, but I'm just saying from my personal experience, and please do remember this is my experience. It's not going to be the same for you. And my healing journey is going to look different than yours. I wish I could tell you just do this and you'll be healed. But we all have to find our way and, and share our journeys and lean on one another and help. And maybe one thing will help you and vice versa. But anyway, they gave me a topical cream, and I remember going, picking it up at this uh, pharmacy, and I just from the whole thing, I just was really scared to do it. And I remember coming in home into my room, and just trying, and just I left the jar up on my counter. I didn't use it right away. I dealt with the itchy skin, like just like I always do. I itch it, do my best to get distracted and keep my hands busy doing other things so I wouldn't itch my skin. So. I remember the one time it was really bad. It's like, Michelle, just just try it. And I put a little bit on one time. And to be honest, I really didn't notice that much of a difference. And so I was like, okay, I'm not, this is not worth it. I knew that wasn't a, a permanent fix. So I never used it again. So when people saw pictures of me sharing my journey and thought I had it, that was my experience with steroids, I topical steroids. I only used it that one time. Could if my body had a... A withdrawal symptom from it possibly but it didn't happen to years later so I feel like my skin was highly more related to eczema and I had a gut dysbiosis and, and candy overgrowth so I think all of that was related could again like I say some steroid mi withdrawal be mixed in there sure I, I don't have any proof of that during when I was going through my journey of seeing different dermatologists during the time for my skin Every single one, again, I saw four, um, five, I kind of lost track. I saw so many. Every single one wanted to describe me steroids. And I was like, no. And they didn't like that. And it literally would not want to help me anymore. They did not want to talk to me. I, I tried calling the office again, like, what else can I do? They never returned my calls. All four of the dermatologists I saw was this way. And even when I was like talking to them, like that was the first thing they went to. And they just, in the documentary, they brought up that brought that up too. I just how sometimes that's the quick answer for some doctors, and I understand doctors are overwhelmed with a lot, and they do the best they can based upon their training and what they have access to. There, I would say there are some I think doctors that care a little bit more about the patient and were willing to go different routes. And I, like I said at the beginning, God led me to some other amazing doctors. So first I would pray that you find a good doctor. And I'm not trying to hear bash dermatologists. I think they're an important, I think, you know, medicine and doctors are here for a reason to help people. But we all have to remember, as I talked about in some of my previous videos, true really where healing and comes from, God. So that was my experience with steroids and my skin journey. Again, I'm not gonna get into everything I did. I have done previous videos on that. If you're interested, uh, please go check them out. And if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover, please also let me know. And if you have any experience with steroid withdrawal, please make sure you share your journey, your story. Um, it, it truly will help other people in, in a lot of different ways, emotionally too. Hearing, like I said, in those people's videos, how they too had suicidal thoughts. Almost every single one I think in the video said, like, people who have eczema, I think we, we understand yeah. that. Steroid withdrawal, I believe, is a real thing. Like I said in that documentary, they're bringing up that doctors and uh, are coming up to speed with that as well but one thing I did that was interesting that I've never really thought about before and it wasn't until this mom brought up all the steroids and that that world kind of came back and all the things I researched and things over the years uh, came back through me and before Lori shared her um, journey of healing her acne I had a journey of healing acne but we weren't sharing our lives online yet so I don't have any documentation of it to share online because I didn't think I would be doing that. I did have really bad cystic acne and I remember taking a pill for inflammation of my skin 
And so could have that also been a spark? That version of a steroid, even though it wasn't topical, I was sitting there thinking about it. Again, I have no proof of this. It's just my own thoughts and just thinking out loud, I guess. Could have that been part of my gut issues and candida um, on top of at the same time during this period, Lori and I uh, had a bad relationship with food and exercise and our body image. So I was doing drastic stuff in those extremes from different diets and different supplements, like the extremes of everything, pretty much. So not only was that going on, I was taking these pills for my acne and I was doing all this other stuff for my acne and then my skin started itching. So I do believe it's all related. We are whole beings. Uh, also at this time, I've, I've mentioned in previous videos, I was not really walking with the Lord at this time. My spiritual life was pretty much absent. So I was just a complete mess, every part of my body, emotionally, spiritually, physically. So it was a long journey. I have the platform, the opportunity to share about an important topic, just to get the conversation started and just to Maybe you've never heard of it, to have it always in your back of mind when someone approaches you with a steroid, really sort of consider the consequences. They're not long-term treatments. I I don't even look at them as healing things or just a temporary band-aid to stop whatever you're facing. Uh, it's to really focus on the root cause of what's happening. And I, I do believe a lot of it happens in people's guts. Uh, make sure you're taking care of your, your whole self. Uh, not just your physical body or your emotional and spiritual side as well. just wanted to share this video to just have a conversation, to share about it, a conversation I was having with this mom and just so grateful she contacted me and brought this to my attention and for God giving me the courage to create this video and just want to pray for all of you guys again who are suffering that God leads you to a doctor or to uh, a product or a supplement, whatever is needed on your journey to bring you to full healing. I also pray that you're led to good doctors. I want to also pray for all the doctors out there that deal with skin issues, um, not just eczema. I know there's a lot of other ones out there just that they are open to seeing other sides besides just steroids and just uh, see a person as a whole person sitting there in front of them made in God's image. And that I do believe healing is in God's control and we're not promised healing on this side of eternity. Again, I've talked about that in previous videos. Also, this mom also brought up to me a doctor I've never heard of, but I guess he's been very vocal about steroids and he's one of the very few, I guess, dermatologists that is against them and helps people who are going through withdrawal. I've never heard of him. He was based in California and I believe she's based in Australia. So. She was asking me, and I, I don't live in California, so I, I wasn't familiar with his work, but then I watched a few of his videos, and so I'll link up him, some of his videos down below. I'm also grateful because on my journey, the, the one of the final doctors I saw was here in South Florida. He did He's a, more of a skin care specialist with other rare skin diseases, but he was willing to see me. Praise God. He didn't push steroids on me at all, and so I was so grateful. So there is hope that there is some doctors out there that aren't just going to immediately just hand you a prescription for steroids. I hope this video helps bring attention to topical steroid withdrawal, and uh, just know that I'm thinking of you guys all, praying for you. If you want me to talk about anything else, I haven't really talked about my eczema in a long time. I don't no longer really deal with it. Um, God healed me from it, and I thank Him every day for it, but I do want to be able to still help people along that journey because I do know what it's like. The pain, the, the frustration, not just for the person experiencing it, but for your loved ones watching someone. Remember Lori crying alongside with me the, the moments I wanted to kill myself, just, you know, her pain because she, she can't help. So I'm praying for all sides of you all that are going through this, whether it's someone you're watching going through it or yourself. I do know how hard it is. I do know that healing is possible from this stereo withdrawal. Thank you for joining me and, and I am praying for you.